what's up guys and welcome to darkings tech tutorial youtube channel and i suggest if you're new here consider clicking on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to get notifications on my new videos also give these videos a thumbs up and then drop your comment on the comment section below and with that being said let's get started on today's tutorial okay in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make use of the polar and grid snap polar tracking object snap and then how to display and hide object in autocad so that you can make clean and niche drawing with autocad so first when you open autocad you have this workspace displayed which is the drafting and annotation um, workspace so here i'm going to first start with um, the grid and the polar snap so first if you're going to i'm going to pick a drawing so that i could be able to show you how this um, tools work so if you pick a line tool here and you want to make use of the polar snap come over to where you have this um, dotted icon here and then click down here so you have a um, polar snap here and then select polar snap and in case if you don't have this string on your on your autocad you can come over to where you have um, this customization and then click on customization so from customization here you can choose to turn these um, icons or turn this element on and then turn it off so that's how you can do it so come over back here and then select polar snap here and then once you have this polar snapped selected come over to where you have this icon also and then click on this um, arrow here so from here you have polar tracking angles of different range you have 90 180 270 you have 45 90 135 and 180 you have 30 60 90 and the rest of others here so first here i'm going to make use of um, polar tracking of 45 90 and then 135 and i'm going to choose this and then turn it on at this point here make sure this is on before polar tracking will start working so come over here and then pick line two and then at any point here i'm going to start my drawing let's say at this point i'm going to click on this point so you can see um once i start drawing you see this um, green dotted line which is indicating the polar tracking line so for this green dotted line towards this way it's showing a polar tracking angle of zero degrees now if i move a little bit up you see another green dotted line now this is showing a polar tracking angle of 45 45 degrees now if i move this way again you see another green dotted line which is showing a polar tracking angle of 90 degrees and if i move towards this direction again i have polar tracking angle of um, 135 degrees and towards this side i have polar tracking angle of 180 so this is how you can make use of polar tracking for easy drawing especially when you're making a drawing at an angle of um, any range so here you have different angle range you can choose for 90 180 270 30 60 90 120 or any of this range you you have here you can choose to use it for your drawing so that's how you can make use of polar tracking for drawings so next i'll be showing you how to make use of a um, great snap in your drawing so come back to where you have this um, icon and then click on grid snap and then select grid snap here so for grid snap i'm going to escape and then pick line to again to show you how you make use of grid snap so you could notice that um, in grid snap crosshair is not free to move the, the crosshair only start at where the grid lines intersect so if i need to make any drawing here i could start exactly at where the crosshair or at where the grid lines intersect let's see if i need to make drawing exactly at where this point or at where this um, grid lines intersect that's the point where i'm going to start that's the use of um, grid lines snap for drawing so um, next we're going to show you how to make use of an um, auto mode in your drawing so i'm going to escape this command and for auto mode you have the icon displayed here which you can use for drawing so come over to where you have auto mode here and then you can now turn it on from here so for auto mode 
the, the, the drawing is only restricted to either vertical or horizontal drawing. So if I need to make a line um, with this mode, I can, let's say I'm creating a line at this point. So I have this line going horizontal. And if I try to go at an angle, you will see it's either going vertical or it's going horizontal. So I cannot go um, at an angle with the auto mode here. So one of the important of this um, element is for you to be able to draw a line at either horizontal or vertical um, direction. So auto mode is used for vertical and horizontal um, drawings of line. So you can make use of this to get straight lines either vertically or horizontally or in whichever direction but it only is restricted to vertical and then horizontal direction so that's how you can make use of um, auto mode in autocad so next let me escape and then we'll be discussing how you can make use of um, object snap in drawing so object snap allows you to easily um, take drawings from any point let's say uh, i have this drawing here and i want to start drawing uh, another line at the end of this um, line here so for object snap you have the icon displayed here and if you don't have it displayed you can still um, go over to customization like we did and then turn it on so you have the object snap um, displayed here so if you want to make use of this first I'm going to turn it off and then show you how this um, how this element works so come over and then pick a line and then if i want to draw a line let's say at the end at the edge of this um, line here so it's very hard to locate this point so if i need to draw a line at the point where these two lines intersect i'll come over to where i have um object snap here and then click on this point and then turn on end point um snap which will allow me now to be able to drop line at this point. So come back to your drawing and then locate the end point. So you could see that um, this green box here is showing the end point of this line. So now I can be able to draw a line exactly at the end point of this uh, line, just at any direction I wish to, and then stop. So next, what if I, I want to draw line let's say at the midpoint of this line i have here let's pick um, a line and then try to draw again so trying to locate the center of this um, line is difficult right so you can still make use of auto object snap to locate the midpoint of this line so to do that come over to your object snap um, icon again and then click on it now you have the second option here which is the midpoint now click on it and turn it on and then come back to your drawing so from your drawing here you can see that the midpoint of this line we have already is now showing with um, a rectangle a green rect rectangle here so if i need to make line or if i need to make another drawing direct at the point where this line uh, is the midpoint i can now click on where this green uh, rectangle is and then draw line at the midpoint of uh the the drawing here so that's how you can make use of um, this um, element so next again i'm going to make um, a drawing with circle so i can still explain more of um, the object snap how you can make use of it in your drawing so next i'm going to take this point again so if i need to make drawing drawing let's say if i want to draw a line at the center of this circle right if i need to draw a line at the center of this circle you can see it's very difficult to locate the center of this circle so if i need to locate the center of this circle still come over to where you have the object snap icon and then click on it and then move over to where you have center which is here and then select it now come back to your drawing so if you move um, around here you could see that your the center of this circle is not showing so if i need to make drawing at the center of this circle i simply 
come here so once you have the object snap selected it will now show you the center of the circle so from here i can now make joints at the center of the circle so that's how you can use this so what if i need to make drawing let's say at any point of this um circle here you see if i pick my line tool again and then try to make um, drawing let's say i draw a line from any point of this um any um, side of this circle it's, it's it's not going to show right so to make it easy for for me to draw line or to draw anything from the side of this circle i'll still come back to to my object snap and then come to quadrant where you have um this um icon with four dots around this um place here yeah. so you can now select this and then come back to your drawing so if you want to draw now you can see the four quadrants of this um, circle clearly showing up at the four side of the circle so this is how you can make use of uh, the object snap in your drawing so you have other object snap elements here which you can still um, choose you have node you have intersection you have extension you have insertion and perpendicular and the rest of other you can use here so that's how you can make use of object snap in your drawing so guys that's that's it so next again i'm going to show you how to hide object and to display object in your drawing so guys to do that i'm going to switch over to a drawing i have already um in my autocad so this drawing i have made it in my previous tutorial and if you want to what i made this drawing how i set unit set um layers and then dimension you can still check the link in my description below so you could watch the video so i have this drawing already displayed here and i want to let's say i want to hide the dimensions here maybe i just want only the floor of this um, drawing so what i need to do is i will simply um for the first um idea i'll go to layers where i have my layers here and then come over to this point and then you see the layers i've created so guys for this um uh, idea if i want to turn off the the dimension line i can now come over to where i have this um icon here and then click on this icon yeah now you could see the the dimension lines have gone off and there's nothing showing here again so it's very simple now if i want to make any further drawing at this point so if you want, still want to display it you can come back the same way and then go back to your point and then turn this um, icon on so guys that's how you can do and then another way of hiding again is um, using height object so assuming I want to hide um, let's say this windows here I will select this windows and if I want to hide it from the rest of this drawing now come over to where you have this icon isolate object and then height object so now you can see the windows are off and nothing is displaying here again so that's how you can hide other object as well so to display it again still come back to this point and then click on end object isolation so now you could see these um windows are displayed so again you can even hide um other element or other drawings here apart from the window so if i need to do that i'll still select these windows select these windows now select these windows and then come back to where you have this point isolate object and then from here i will now select isolate object so now you could see it's just my windows that are left my other joint element my walls my dimensions and all they are all gone just left with the windows so so guys that's how you can make use of this is either you hide your object with layers or you make use of this hide object here so if i need to display click on end object isolation and you have your drawings display back in autocad so guys this is how you can do your drawings hide your drawings and then make other things so for more videos please click on the subscription button and i'll show you more videos and, and i'm gonna upload more videos how to watch and then how to make niche drawings in autocad so guys thanks for watching and then see you there